Chess is a game easy to learn, hard to master. It would be way too easy if improvement would be like a straight line from beginner to grandmaster like this. Usually it's instead like a roller coaster with the rating going up and down like crazy and we might end up to get stuck to a certain level. Those moments can be really sad, especially if they last a very long time. That's why this video is how to break through and overcome plateauing chess. When I was thinking about recording this video, I googled how to conquer plateauing chess, something like this, how to overcome plateauing chess. And I end up in this forum, which was the first advice from Google. Now, there is this guy that was asking for suggestion and I read through most of these suggestions and sometimes they are way too general comments sometimes are just general tip to improve your chess uh, there is this tournament guy that really knows how to do it be good with opening theory be good with opening theory be good with opening theory now i honestly was curious and i went to see his rating graph to understand like what is the experience that this guy has with plateau and to me uh first of all this guy didn't play too much chess but it didn't seem like he really overcame plateau so many times then i was wondering like wait but who am i to say that and i want to see my own uh rating graph <laughs> and you might see what I was talking about, the roller coaster, but if you see over a span of long time, so from 2019 when I had a rating of around 1900 and my highest rating that I reached this year, 2500, well, my rating went quite up. Now, my current rating is quite bad because in the last period my rating just went down and I lost lots of points, but in general I overcame plateau so many times. Let me show you. In there was one year when I was younger and I was training chess a lot and playing lots of tournament from 2013 to 2014 I had a rating of 1900 and you know what this mean that I was so close to the dream to reach 2000 ELO I was so close to get there 1983 but then it took still very long time until bang I break through and my rating got a huge jump so I thought Maybe I could tell you what I did and how I think you can do the same. There is one book that I've read in the last year that is really amazing and it's called Atomic Habits. And there is one quote from James Clear, the author, that I really love. You don't rise to the level of your goals, you fall to the level of your systems. So the point is that no matter what your goal is, if you reach that goal or not, it will depend on what is your system. So what's your system to train chess? In this video, I will tell you what I think is the best system to train your chess. And I will have to quote another author. We are in the one third rule to train your chess. I think this is a very effective system that I've also been using uh, over time. I've tried at least. <laughs> failed many times. The one third rule by GM Noel Studer, which I know personally, uh, says that you should split your time training chess in three sections. One third improving tactical vision and calculation. And I have a YouTube video about it that I will link you in the description uh, how you can do it at the best because many people do it the wrong way. One third playing and analyzing your games. I also have a video about it, very recent video, also linked in the description. And this video will be the final one third because it's actually really tough even if you know that the one third should be openings, endgames, positional chess depending on your strength and your weaknesses. Okay, how to do it? This is how I did it. I'm about to show you my Excel graph that I did in 2016 when I finished my high school and I took a gap year before going to university. So I had lots of time to train my chess and what I did, I made a graph of my most recent OTP games. You can do this with your rapid games on chess.com. It can be really effective. Uh, sorry if this is in Italian, but doesn't matter. What was I doing? I was categorizing my mistakes. What type of mistakes do I make during a game? This was the question to answer. And I was putting here all the category of mistakes I was doing and then the frequency. This why, because the most effective way to train your chess is to correct your mistakes, your own weaknesses. And here, um, I had also a graph, I, I made a very fancy, <laughs> very fancy way. Uh, what are my most common mistakes? Um, I noticed that 17 times I had a lack of knowledge of the middle game plans after the opening. So I played my opening like a machine because I used to memorize moves like this and then I ended up not knowing what to do after it. 
This is why I'm not a big fan of a uh, move trainer where you just have to memorize like a machine the moves. This is not an effective way to learn openings. You rather have to learn the sense of each move and learn the plans after every single opening. And I also had lots of problems, lots of mistakes where uh, like a concrete calculation, there were some, there is some tactics, uh, lack of focus when I had that better position. This is something that I still do right now, that I relax way too early and you should never, never relax. And then I thought a little bit too few in critical moment. These are my own mistakes. It's not that you have to train now on these things. These are my problems, but I'm sure that each of you has his own weaknesses. So that's what you have to do when you analyze a game. Keep a short Excel, categorize your mistakes. For example, other common mistakes I will mention could be like not knowing the opening at all, bad uh, management of time, for example, thinking too much. Then I have also another, another mistake that I do way too often, like very specific. I trade queens when I'm better. As soon as I'm better, I trade the queens. And in some cases, you shouldn't train the queens. For example, if you're attacking, even if you have an extra pawn, you should not trade the queens. You have to give mate. Then you can be bad at attacking, bad at defending. You can be bad in the end games. You can be, um, you can underestimate the opponent threat. You cannot know how to think during a chess game. I will make a video about it. You can have the wrong strategy in the end game. You can be confused about your opening preparation <laughs> your I see ghosts it's literally I see ghosts meaning that I see threats that are not real I get scared and so I make moves that are not necessary and then I underestimate my opponent I'm a very confident person I try to be uh, so I have problem with being too fast underestimating relaxing in uh, when I have a better position but what are your own mistakes but before going that I have a question for you considering my most common mistakes there is one book that is considered one of the best chess books, and I have it here. Sylvan Complete Endgame Course. What do you think would I achieve if I would cite this book that is one of the best book of all time in chess? It's really a great book. Uh, having those as my mistake. Well, honestly, I don't know if you have the same opinion, but it would be a waste of my time because I might already have a very good knowledge of the end games, at least for my games, for the mistake I make. It seems like I have a good knowledge of end games for my level. So I shouldn't focus on this book, even if this book is a great book. That's why training needs to be very personalized and it depends on your own needs. Understand your most common mistake and solve them. Here is how to train your tactic in the most effective way and how to actually analyze your games. This can be very useful to then categorize your mistake and train your chess accordingly. Remember to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time. Ciao.